progress report says we are at stage five, paragraph page 357. Yes. And our last head word was countryside, new word type of lesson. Okay, yes. so let's start with revision. Ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. How soon after you were born did you learn to walk? How soon after you were born did you learn to walk? I learned to walk uh, learned to about a year. About, uh, about what year? About, after, about a year. About, uh, about a year. After I was uh, born. After I was born. Very good. Do you like reading books with stories about murders in them? Do you like reading books with stories about murders in them? Yes or no? No, I don't like reading books reading with stories books about with, murders with stories in about them. Murders in them. Very good. Would you like to see inside a prison? Would you like to see inside a prison? Yes or no? No, I don't know. I don't like to, to see inside see a prison. Inside the prison. Why not? Why not? Because, because it did make I, me feel it, it, it make me feel very un unhappy. Very unhappy. Very good. What's a pupil? What's a pupil? A pupil, a pupil is a child is who's a in school. Child who's in school. Very good. The most pupils in your country have to wear a uniform. The most pupils in your country have to wear a uniform? Yes or no? Yes. Most, most, country, pupils uh, most pupils in, in my, my country, country have to wear have a uniform. Wear uniform. Very good. Okay. What do we call the part of a tree that's in the land? What do we call the part of a tree that's in the land? We call, we call the part of a, part a tree that of that's a tree in the land. That's in the, the roots. Land is a, a root, uh, roots. The roots. Very a good. Root. Have you got a good memory? Have you got a good memory? Yes or no? No, I haven't got, got get a, a good, good memory. memory. I've got a bad memory. I've got a bad memory. Very good. Okay, next. What can we use instead of I am not or I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, etc.? What can we use instead of I'm not, you aren't, he isn't, etc.? Instead of I'm not, of, I you not, aren't, you he aren't, isn't, etc. Et we can use we I'm not, use, you're not, not he's not, not etc. Et well, if you want to go from one side of the road to the other, what must you do? If you want to go from one side of the road to the other, what must you do? If I want to go want to from go one side one of, the road, one side to, of the road to the other, to the I area. must cross the road. I must go cross the road. Very good. What must you do before crossing the road? What must you do before crossing the road? I must look must, both ways must both before crossing the road. Wait before crossing the road. Very good. Okay. If you wanted to go from there to, let's say, Okinawa, would you have to cross the sea or would you be able to go all the way by land? If you wanted to go from there to Okinawa, would you have to cross the sea or would you be able to go all the way by land? If I wanted if to, I go want to, to, to go from here to Okinawa, to Okinawa I'd have to I cross have the sea. Cross the sea. I can't go all the way go all the by way. land. By land. Very good. What was the first thing you thought of when you woke up this morning? What was the first thing you thought of when you woke up this morning? The first the thing first I thought thing of I thought when of I woke up when this I morning up was this morning I was my child. Very good. What's the opposite of the word dangerous? What's the opposite of the word dangerous? The opposite, the opposite of the of word the dangerous, word dangerous is, is safe. safe. Very good. Do you think it's safe to shop online? Do you think it's safe to shop online? Yes or no? Yes, I think it's, it's safe, safe to, shop, to online. shop online. Very good. Do parents often worry about their children's safety? Do parents often worry about their children's safety? Yes, yes. parents often worry, parents about often worry about their children's, their safety. children's safety. Wait, is it safe for young children to cross the road on their own? Is it safe for young children to cross the road on their own? No, no it isn't it safe isn't for safe young children. For, for children. For young to, children. For young children. To cross the road on their the own. Road on their own. Wait, do you like going on holiday on your own? Do you like going on holiday on your own? Yes or no? Yes, I like I going go on, on holiday, holiday on my own. On my own. Very good. What's the past of the verb to lie? What's the past of the verb to lie? The past the of, the of the verb to lie, to lie is, lay. is to lay. Very good. How long did you lie in bed for last night? How long did you lie in bed for last night? I lay in I bed lie, for lay about in bed for about five hours last, last night. night. Oh, very short. Okay, next. <laughs> when do people use the word sir and madam? When do people use the word sir and madam? People use people the use word sir and madam, and madam to be polite when, to be polite when, when they, they are speaking, speaking to their customers in the shop 
in the shop. Their officers in the army or their teachers at school. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Can I help you? Very good. When do we use the words gentleman and lady? When do we use the words gentleman and lady? We use the words gentleman and lady instead of man and woman. When we want to sound polite. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Which of these two gentlemen gave you the book? And will you ask that lady her name, please? Her name, please. Very good. What's your title? What's your title? My title My is... My title is Miss. Very good. Give me examples of certain lady used as titles. Give me examples of certain lady used as titles, please. Some examples Some of examples Sir and of Lady sir and used lady as titles used are as Sir titles Paul McCartney sir Paul and, lady, and Diana. lady Diana. Very good. Which two countries have the highest standards of living in the world? Which two countries have the highest standards of living in the world? Let's say, yeah, um, I think United States and, and Japan has the has, highest standards uh, has, has of, the living highest standard of living in the world. In the world. Very good. What's the standard height for a woman in your country? What's the standard height for a woman in your country? The standard, the standard height, height for a woman in, for my, a, country. Woman in, in my country is, is 158 centimeters. centimeters. Very good. Okay, next. When do we use the expression, would you say? When do we use the expression, would you say? We use the we expression, use the expression would, you say, would you say? When we ask somebody, we ask somebody for his opinion, for about, his something. opinion about something. Greg, would you say that the king's life was better than that of the average man? Would you say that the king's life was better than that of the average man? Yes or no? Yes, I think I the king's life. life. One more. It Yes, I'd say yes, I think that yes, a I king's say, life that a king's was better than was that better of the average man. Of the average man. Very good. Which tense do we use after the expression, would you say? Which tense do we use after the expression, would you say? We use the past use tense the after past the tense expression, after the expression would, you say. would you say? Well, what would you say was the best way to remember something? What would you say was the best way to remember something? I'd say that the I best way that to, best remember way something to remember something was to repeat it was often. To repeat, of the, to repeat it often. Very good. If the sky looks dark and cloudy, do you sometimes decide not to go out? If the sky looks dark and cloudy, do you sometimes decide not to go out? Yes. No. If, uh, yes or no? Uh, no? Uh, no. If the sky, no. the if the sky uh, looks dark and cloudy. Uh, if the sky is look. Uh, if oh, the sky looks, looks dark and cloudy, dark and cloudy, I still I go out. I still go out. Very good. One more. No. If the sky you know, looks the dark sky and looks cloudy, and cloudy, I still go out. I still go out. Very good. When your shoes look dirty, what do you do? When your shoes look dirty, what do you do? When my shoes, when my look, shoes dirty, look dirty, I clean them. I clean them. Very good. Do we pay the driver when we get in a taxi? Do we pay the driver when we get in a taxi? No, no, we don't pay the when driver. We, we don't pay the driver when we get when in, we a get taxi. in the in a taxi. We pay when we, we pay, get out we, of a taxi. We get out of a taxi. Well, in your country, do you have to buy a ticket before getting on a bus? In your country, do you have to buy a ticket before getting on a bus? Yes or no? Yes, in, in my, my country, you have we to have buy to, a ticket. You have to buy a ticket before getting get on a bus. Before getting on a bus. Now we can also use your she said we we have to buy. Okay, it's also correct. Okay. okay. How much is the bus fare from there to your to where? Oh, how much is the bus fare from your office to where you live? How much is the bus fare from your office to where you live? The bus, fare the bus fare from my office, from my office to, where to, live is, to where I live is about 200 yen. Oh, expensive. Okay. Has your country got the royal family? Has your country got the royal family? Yes or no? Yes. My country got a royal family. That are, has, the, has the royal family. One more. Yes. My country's got, yes, my country's got a royal family. A royal family. Very good. How do we get mud on our shoes? How do we get mud on our shoes? We get mud, we get on, mud our shoes on our shoes by walking, to, by in, walking the countryside in the countryside in the rain. In the rain. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Let's have new it. Very good. Okay. So let's start repeat. Crowd. Crowd. Crowded. Crowded. 
Very good. Okay, listen. The word crowd is a noun. A crowd is a large number of people together in one place. For example, famous actors are often surrounded by crowds when they go out in public. Crowded is an adjective. Crowded means full of people or things. For example, buses are usually crowded in the morning and trains as well. Let's practice. Are famous actors often surrounded by crowds when they go out in public? Are famous actors often surrounded by crowds when they go out in public? Yes. yes. Famous, famous actors, actors are often surrounded, are often surrounded by, crowds by crowds when they, go out, when in they public. go out in public. Are the buses in your town usually crowded in the morning? Are the buses in your town usually crowded in the morning? Yes or no? Yes. The, the buses, buses in my town are usually are crowded, usually in, crowded the in the morning. Very good. Next, repeat. Captain. Captain. Team. Team. Very good. Okay, listen. Captain is a noun. Captain means the leader of a sports team, an officer in the police, or a person in charge of a ship or aircraft. Captain. For example, a sea captain, a sports team captain. The name of a famous sea captain is Captain Cook. Team is a noun. A team is a group of people who work together to do a particular job. For example, a football team or a soccer team. An example sentence is, I've never been the captain of a sports team. Let's practice. Have you ever been the captain of a sports team? Have you ever been the captain of a sports team? Yes or no? No, I haven't been the, the captain, captain of, of a sports team. Just a sport team. Very good. Tell me the name of a famous sea captain. Tell me the name of a famous sea captain, please. The name the of a famous, name of the famous sea, sea captain, captain is it's Captain Cook. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Wide. Wide. Narrow. Narrow. Okay, very good. Listen. Wide is an adjective. Wide means a large distance from one side to the other. For example, Cologne Street is the widest street in the place where I live. Narrow is an adjective. It is the opposite of wide, so narrow. It means having a small distance from one side to the other. For example, Rama Street is the narrowest street in the place where I live. Let's practice. Which is the widest street in the place where you live and which is the narrowest? Which is the widest street in the place where you live and which is the narrowest? Let's say the, a, B, the ABC, ABC Street is the widest is the street widest in the place where, I live. place where I live. And one, two, three and street one, two, three street is the narrowest. The narrowest street. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Flag. Flag. National. National. Very good. Okay, listen. Flag is a noun. It is a piece of cloth with colored patterns or pictures on it that represents a country or an organization. For example, flag of Japan or flag of the Philippines. The flag of my country's color is blue, red, yellow, and white. National is an adjective. National means relating to countries or one particular country. For example, I know the origin of my national flag. Let's practice. What color is the flag of your country? What color is the flag of your country? The flag, the flag of my country. The flag of my country is, is red and white. Very good. Do you know the origin of your national flag? Do you know the origin of your national flag? Yes or no? No, I don't know the origin of my national, our national flag. Very good. Okay, next we with grass. Grass. Live on. Live on. Very good. Okay, listen. Grass is a noun. It is a low green plant that grows naturally and covers the surface of the ground, like the grass. For example, if there's no rain, grass becomes yellow and then it dies. Live on is a verb. It means to only eat a particular type of food. Live on. For example, if I say that John lives on pasta, we mean that John only eats pasta every day. Let's practice. Name an animal that lives on grass. Name an animal that lives on grass, please. A horse is a an horse animal is that an lives animal on grass. That lives on grass. Wait, what happens to grass if there's no rain? What happens to grass if there's no rain? If there's no rain. If there's no rain. Grass becomes yellow. The grass becomes and yellow. And then it dies. And then it dies. Very good. Next repeat. Tower. Tower. 
Very good. Okay, listen. A tower is a noun. It is a tall, narrow building, often square or circular, that either forms part of a building or stands alone. For example, Tokyo Tower, Sky Tree Tower, or Eiffel Tower. Let's practice. Where is the nearest tower to the place where you live? Where is the nearest tower to the place where you live? The nearest the tower nearest to the tower place where, I, the live. Place where yes. I live is Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower. Very good. Next, repeat. Wet. Wet. Dry. Dry. Very good. Okay, listen. Wet is an adjective. If something is wet, it is covered in water, covered in rain, covered in sweat, tears, or other liquids. For example, the streets are wet when it rains. If I walk in the rain without an umbrella, I get wet. Dry. The word dry is an adjective. It is the opposite of wet. For example, if I got wet, I'd have to take my clothes off and hang them up to dry. Let's practice. Are, there, uh, are the streets dry when it rains? Are the streets dry when it rains? No. no. The streets aren't uh, dry, streets aren't dry, when, dry it when it rains. They're wet. They're wet. If you walk in the rain without an umbrella, what did happen? If you walk in the rain without an umbrella, what did happen? If I walk if in the I rain without, the rain an umbrella, without an umbrella, I'd get wet. I'd, I'd get wet. Wait, if you got wet, what did you have to do with your clothes? If you got wet, what did you have to do with your clothes? If I if got, I wet, got wet, I'd have to I'd take have my, to clothes take off my clothes off and hang and them up to hang dry. Them up to dry. Very good. Next, repeat. True. True. Very good. Okay, listen. True is a verb. It is the past of true. For example, if you threw a stone at the window, the window would break. Let's practice. What's the past of true? What's the past of true? The past of the past throw of is throw true. It's true. What did happen if I threw a stone at the window? What did happen if I threw a stone at the window? If you threw a stone, you threw a stone at the window, at the, the window would break. The window would break. Very good. Next, repeat loud. Loud. Turn up. Turn, turn up. Turn up. Turn, turn, down. turn down. Turn down. Very good. Okay, listen, loud is an adjective. It means causing a lot of noise. For example, the radio is causing a lot of noise. We can say it's too loud. Turn up is a phrasal verb. It means to increase the volume, increase the speed, or increase something. Turn up. Turn down is the, also a phrasal verb. It's the opposite of turn up. For example, if my TV is turn up too loud, I turn it down. Let's practice. If your TV is turned up too loud, what do you do? If your TV is turned up too loud, what do you do? If my TV if my is turned up too loud, turn up too loud, I turn it down. I turn, the, I turn it down. Very good. Okay, now let's have reflexive pronouns. Okay, repeat. Reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns. Very good. Okay, so let's talk about reflexive pronouns. Okay, so repeat myself. Myself. Yourself. Yourself. Himself. Himself. Herself. Ourself. Oneself. Oneself. Ourselves. Ourselves. Yourselves. Yourselves. Themselves. Themselves. Consequently. Consequently. Protect. Protect. Very good. Okay, listen. We use a reflexive pronoun. When the subject and object are the same person or thing. Okay, in the sentence, the teacher taught me. So the teacher taught me. The subject and the object are different people. In the sentence, I taught myself. The subject and the object is the same person. I and myself. Consequently, another word for consequently is because of that. We use the reflexive pronoun myself as the object. Okay, we're gonna say I taught me. Okay, we say we have to say I taught myself. Okay, next word is protect. Protect is a verb. It means to keep someone or something safe from injury, safe from damage or loss. For example, we carry an umbrella to protect ourselves from the rain. Okay, let's practice. What are the reflexive pronouns? What are the reflexive pronouns? The reflexive, the reflexive pronouns, pronouns are myself, are yourself, myself, himself, yourself, herself, itself, itself, 
one itself, self, our ourselves, selves, yourselves, ourselves, and themselves. And themselves. Very good. When do we use a reflexive pronoun? When do we use a reflexive pronoun? We use, we use a reflexive pronoun. pronoun when the subject and the object, object are the object same person are the same or thing. Question or thing. Uh, same person or thing. And what same, uh, the same person or thing. Very good. Is it right to say, I look at me in the mirror? Is it right to say, I look at me in the mirror? No. no it isn't, it right, isn't to say, right to say, I look at, I me, look in at me in the mirror. Why not? Why not? Because the subject because and the object, subject are, the and same object person. are the same person. What must we say instead? What must we say instead? We must say, must I, look at myself I look at myself in the mirror instead. In the mirror instead. Very good. Do you think it would be easy for me to teach myself Chinese? Do you think it would be easy for me to teach myself Chinese? No, no I don't think I don't it would be easy it, for you, it, it be easy for you to, to teach yourself teach Chinese. Yourself, uh, in Chinese. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Okay. Very good. Okay, so reading is at stage four, paragraph page 289. Last head word was happen. Okay, please start reading at page 290 first question. Are you going okay. to watch television? Are you going to watch television, television this evening? Yes, I'm going to watch television this evening. What are you going to have for your dinner this evening? I'm going to have meat and rice for my dinner this evening. Are you going to come here again tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to come here again tomorrow. Enjoy. Museum. Museum. What kind of things do you enjoy doing most of all? The kind of things I enjoy doing most of all are watching television, going to the cinema, etc. 